Vyanjan Bhai, please come on the stage. We cannot do this program without you. Justice, please come on the stage. <laughs> and Mr. Ashok Bansali. Okay, we'll start the program. Can I invite all the dignitaries on the dais to do the lighting of the lamp? And while you are doing so, uh, we will have the invocation song by Dhani. Vakratunda Sakati Rathi 
Thank you so much, Dhani. She has been our nightingale every year, year after year. I have been noticing her. Thank you very much once again for assembling this evening. May I request all of you to just put your phones on silent or switch it off if it is possible. Uh, we'll start the evening by requesting our dashing dynamic uh, president, Sapatil Kothari, to give his address. Good evening, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, thank you, Vinit, for that uh, wonderful introduction. Uh, the president is uh, dashing and dynamic because he's got an extremely supportive vice president. And 100% would be an understatement, maybe 500% extremely supportive, undoubtedly since the past six years that I have been the president. Uh, I welcome, I welcome my chief, chief guest, guest Dr. Dr. Hemant Thakkar, who is a part of our advisory board, board. Dr. Dr. Mickey Mehta, who has always been extremely supportive of all the functions of CFBP, the chairman of the awards jury, Justice B. N. Shri Krishna, my treasurer, Mr. Ashok Bansali, my secretary, Mr. Niranjan Junjunwala, and the backbone of CFBP, the founder member, Mr. Shekhar Bajaj. Yeah. You see, uh, I believe that Jamnalal Bajaj Awards, as you will see in the booklet that we have for you, which I encourage each of you to have and take it back, sets the benchmark for corporate excellence and more so corporate integrity. When I was there at the Economic Times Awards for Corporate Excellence, I noticed one thing which was mentioned by Mr. Anil Nayak, the Chairman Emeritus of Larsen and Tugro, who talked about his humble beginnings and how he came forward and built LNT the way it is today, where he mentioned that integrity and honesty was a given. I, it, it resonated in my mind to the effect that I thought that yes, you know, he belongs to that great school of thought where certain things were just supposed to be, you know, a given. Like you go to a restaurant and you, you know, an edible food is a given. The same way, when it comes to conducting business, integrity was a given. The same thing is reflective of Council for Fair Business Practices, where Jamnalal Bajaj Awards in its 36th year is emblematic of ethics both in the corporate sphere and at personal level. Because if you do not have integrity and honesty at a personal level, I don't think you will translate it to your organization that you lead and also down below when you're looking at the generations to follow. The council was started by GRD Tata, Ramkrishna Bajaj, Soli Godrej, Ashok Birla, Jimmy Gazdar, FT Khorakiwala, and all the other stalwarts in 1966 on Gandhi Jayanti Day. The idea of forming this council was to promote and propagate fair business practices. It took about two years to get an ambassador car at that time, if you remember. And there was hoarding. There were people who smuggled goods. Gold was one of the biggest things. And these top titans of industry came together and formed this council. Imagine you don't have Wi-Fi. The connectivity is only through a telephone where you have to sort of dial numbers six times or seven times. At least I remember when I was about two years of age, I had a six-digit telephone number. So I believe... I was only five years, I was not even born when this organization was formed, but I was born in 71. So maybe I think that six digits, seven digits, then that sort of continued till the 80s. 
70s and 80s, and then of course, you know, you got more and more people having telephone lines and things like that. When you don't have that kind of connectivity and you still build an organization with the kind of prestige and the stature that Council for Fair Business Practices had and still has and will continue to have, at that time only you can look at it and look at the people, the visionary founders in awe. I think what they sought to do was to idealize institutions and institutionalize ideals. That is what they had in mind. And look at the vision of these people who saw 50 years down the road that India would be a developing economy, or rather a developed economy, should I say, being the fifth largest in the moment, and soon to be third largest maybe by the end of 2047. And there'll be tremendous competition. People would transgress lines. People would tend to bypass basic rules where integrity would not be a given, where honesty would be something that people will look up to and say that yes, he's an honest man or she's an honest woman. And that is something which will be appreciated more so in today's day and age. That is what they foresaw. That, why would top industrialists and professionals, after working so hard, running their business empires, decide to form a council? I'm sure they had something better to do. Why would they do this? Not just to ensure that a car comes to you in the next two months. Not something to ensure that uh, 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 people do not hoard gold and we will abolish Gold Control Act at some point in the future. And we will make justice accessible to the common man because people will be litigious going forward and lawyers will be expensive. Trust me, I cannot afford my own fees. I'm a professional lawyer, by the way. It's become so expensive. It, becomes, it's, it has become so, so, so tarik pe tarik kind of a thing, where of course then we are assisting and you know, uh, uh, his lordship will agree with me who's sitting here that justice has become, a, uh, you know, although it's a cloistered virtue, but it has become some sort of an ideal to be aspired for. And I remember the words of Martin Luther King who said that injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. So it's important that justice is accessible. So what CFVP stands for is to ensure as a bridge between the manufacturers and the consumers so that they don't have to knock the doors of the consumer courts. They don't have to knock the doors of any courts higher than that where if we come into play, we try to ensure that complaints are handled. We have a great app that has been developed and we have about th roughly 300 complaints a month, which is looked after by our oldest executive committee member, Asha Idnani ji, who's sitting on the first row, and now Payal Kothari, who's also our executive committee member. So they're looking after these sort of complaints to ensure that people at the ground level get the justice that they desire and they don't have to come to expensive lawyers or knock the doors of the courts. The doors of the courts are always open, but it takes a while for people to get justice. So we try to bridge that gap. So these were the visionary founders who saw this. And the kind of things that we do is something which I want to throw light upon. We have come out with original programs, some very, very original programs. And I remember the American novelist Herman Melville, who said that it's better to fail in originality than to succeed in imitation. So what I have tried to do is, I have tried to ensure that we come out with something so original, so new, so unique. It, it, to sell fair business practices is extremely difficult. I mean, it's a very, very boring topic for today's generation, for today's day and age, where I have to attract even the young crowd who cannot say beyond seven seconds if the site doesn't open there. My daughter tells me, please check the Wi-Fi. There is no, something, no such thing as patience. And I don't blame myself or her for that. I just blame that... This is the world of instant gratification where we have to do certain things which are very readily accessible. So some of the things that we do originally, of course, Jamnal al Bajaj was an original concept in its 36th year right now, is we have an ethics seminar, which is primarily supported by the datas. And this time it was primarily supported by VIP Industries, also by Mr. Dilip Piramal, who is our advisory board member as well. The other thing that we do is that we have a concept of Creative Arts Festival, which is at the end of the year, where we celebrate creativity in three areas, painting, slogans, and short films. And we have about four to five topics like Mera Akmera Rights, Fair Business Practices, 
and uh, women empowerment and people have to come out with their creations and there is a jury that says of course Justice Sri Krishna is also a jury chairman in that as well. And then of course we invite people from different sections. We invited uh, Prakash Jha last time. Then we invited uh, somebody from the corporate sphere like Avinash Kaul from CNN News 18. So we have an eclectic mix of the jury there. And we try to award them with the best creations that they have on these topics if they fit. And of course we have Dean Vishwanath Sabale, who's the Dean of JJ School of Architecture, who's also our advisory board member. We had Nadeta Das also recently, but she's decided to part ways with us. She said that I'm away, a phone call away as and when you want, but I do not wish to be officially there on Council for Fair Business Practices. Maybe it's conflicting, because I've had quite a few people telling us that we'd love to be on your organization, but it's probably conflicting, and I'm not someone who tries to probe into that as to what sort of a conflict you're having. So we have that eclectic jury. We do this, there is this film festival that we have followed immediately by a fashion show which celebrates women empowerment. Where, and, and pardon my br uh, brutal language, where fat, ugly, unsightly women of achievement walk the ramp. Because what we celebrate is achievement out there. And that has been curated by uh, Shaina NC, who's also our advisory board member and of course who's now right now sitting in the Prime Minister's war room to assist him in the elections. So we have a very very celebrated set of people to deal with uh, these kind of topics and in the uh, fashion uh, show uh, the assistance is given by the executive committee member Payal Kothari and as far as the creative arts festival is concerned it's given by our co-chairman of the co-chairperson of the programs committee that's Kiran Srivastava. I don't think she's present here but uh, you know she's the one who helps us out in that. So these are the two very new programs that we've come out with and the third one that we've come out with we have Dr. Mickey Mehta who's a chairman of our wellness committee who's sitting on the dais and we host a holistic summit we did it last year 1.0 this time we'll have a 2.0 sometime in August where we have a slew of executive committee members and invite you who belong to different vocations, dermatologists and nutritionists and, uh, uh, you know, counseling psychologists, etc., who all team up together, which is curated, which is rather conceptualized by Dr. Mickey Mehta and curated by our executive committee member, Lena Gupta, who's sitting right here. And this is something which we do uh, very passionately because we want to touch practices, unfair practices, in areas which are related to medicine and health and holistic wellness. Because there are people who promise you lots of things, you know, you'll eat this and you'll become slim, you'll eat this and you'll become fair and this, that and the other. And that's all unfair practices, that's what we believe in. And we have experts who come and talk about it. They are formed, some, most of them are form a part of our own team. So it's basically something which we try to showcase that, you know, these are the people that we have. And one of the other important things that we try to do is we do we have a very robust Kolkata chapter now this is something which will interest a lot of women uh, most of the women at CFPP are extremely high achievers with a glittering resume and this is one program that has been conceived by our executive committee member she's the founder of career after family enterprise Kavita Agarwal she's also a Kolkata chapter head and she has come out with a concept of Pehchan career after family enterprise, Cafe Pehchan, where you give Pehchan to the women who don't have a Pehchan. And trust me, when you look at their applications, where again we have a jury which sits and you know we award them, myself, so-and-so, me coming out for the first time, making pots, giving money to small people who are coming out and building uh, their own vocations and things like that. There is not even a properly constructed English statement. These are people with talent, but they don't have that access. They don't have that confidence. So that is what Kavita Agarwal is trying to do to build up that. And we've joined hands with her as far as that is concerned, because we believe that if 50% of the population, which is women, and only selective women are there, out there, you know, sitting in boardrooms and, uh, you know, plush places like this, I don't think we can achieve a $5 trillion economy. And forget the $5 trillion economy, that's mathematics. I don't think we are just doing justice as counsel for fair business practices to people who have had the most unfair practices since time immemorial. And this is one of the things that I said in Hindi at that time in Pehchan, where I said that pehle sati se pehchan, fir pati se pehchan, lekin ab hogi unnati se pehchan aur kal hogi gati se pehchan. 
unless and until you have women empowerment as one of your goals you're not going to be able to achieve fairness and equality which is so promised by our constitution under article 14 i don't want to elaborate on that because that is another separate topic legality altogether but these are some of the original functions that we have come out with i encourage all of you to look at the materials that are here please take it on your way out and one of the other things that i would like to talk to you about we've put up a standee of our patron members patron members are our prize people in the past 6, 57 years since the inception of council for fair business practices in 1966 we have had only 53 members only 53 53rd has just joined 54th 55th maybe some of the people who've given us uh, and it comes at a cost of 5 lakhs of rupees so people who've given us a sponsorship for the economic times ad for 5 lakhs their name will be added to that and only very selective people are invited to be patron members people are ready to give 15 but we do not accept them because we follow a certain standard as far as our patron membership is concerned so we have our tiers of membership as well out there that are there for people to know for people to learn about if you want to associate yourselves with the organization as low as 25000 rupees for a uh, 10 year membership which is called as a long term membership and 50000 for life and let me tell you one thing that made the administrative committee has decided to increase the patron membership maybe possibly to double it uh, in the next few months to come maybe it could start from 1st of april i haven't taken a call on that yet but uh, ultimately uh, this is something which uh, you know we'll take a call and you know i have to think about it and see as to how what best i can do as far as that is concerned vinith will talk about the process of the jamnalal bajaj awards as to how this thing is taken forward and how the awards were decided as when he allows the when he lets the people who won the awards to come on the stage and talk about their experience about it but let me tell you one thing this is one of the very few awards in the country that is not bought we have no registration fee the only money that we ask for is for the economic times ad which comes at a whopping cost it's today there on page 3 so we want to give importance to the award we want to give importance to the awardees and we also want to ensure that we continue to do it in a bigger way next time then and every time it's a notch up than what it was earlier so thank you very much for listening to me patiently as far as this is concerned and wish you all the best and thank you very much for coming today and once again congratulations to all the winners thank you very much thank you president uh, so you heard from the president as to what was the uh, you know what was the purpose of setting up of council for fair business practice 57 years ago uh and then came the jamna lal bajaj awards in 1988 and the purpose of instituting the awards was essentially to encourage and motivate businesses to reach higher levels of ethics integrity transparency customer centricity employee care uh, and the responsibility towards the society and this was visualized by uh, you know the then managing committee and the uh, seniors of cfbp because it was important to publicly acknowledge and pub publicly encourage corporations from a variety of sectors to be uh, shown as you know the jamnalal bajaj council for fair business practice award uchit vyavhar that is how it is uh, called and that is how it was named uh, the awards are given in the categories of manufacturing both large and sme services large and sme trade trade and distribution and recently a few years ago we added even charitable associations because they doing a whole lot of good things uh, it's my pleasure to invite our uh, chairperson for the jury of these awards justice b n sri krishna uh, who has been mentoring the entire panel for the last several years it is under his guidance that all of us see two things at once one the big picture and second the eye for the detail especially when we are scanning through various applications that come in front of us he keeps us focused and he keeps uh, gives us the guidance just as b n shri krishna thank you vinith dr kothari today's uh, 
guest of honor. Dr. Sorry, Dr. Thakkar, yeah. Dr. Thakkar, all my colleagues on the CFPB <coughs> board, board of advisors, and dear friends. Uh, <coughs> I ceased to be a lawyer in the year 1990, after which I've ceased to talk for long and with passion that uh, our friend Sopnil displayed. As a judge, my job is to sit back, listen carefully, and decide what my conscience tells me. And I'm happy that even after retiring from the Supreme Court in the year 1965, and uh, I have been, my service has been availed of by our friends in the CFPB. And I'm there to help them as long as uh, God ordains that I live in this, on this earth. A few things about the philosophy behind CFPB. <clears throat> in our country, it is customary to have a disciplinary week, honesty week, no corruption week, and so cleanliness week, and so on. It indicates that during that week, you are disciplined, you are not corrupt, you have cleanliness. Rest of the year, you can do what you like. CFPB is an exception to that rule. In CFPB, ethics and honesty are there all 365 and quarter days in the year, 24 by 7. Now, this is exactly the philosophy of CFPB. And when I give you an example of how it worked, you will really appreciate what CSP stands for and what its high principles are. Couple of years ago, maybe three years ago or four years ago, the council had invited Dr. Kalam, our former president, whom everybody knows and identifies with, to do the um, to be the chief guest at an award ceremony. The President's office did not reply. They kept on applying. They didn't apply. At one time, even said that they would not. Then suddenly, one day, they got a communication from the President's office and said, the President, rather, he was an ex-President at that time, that the former President will accept and come here and do the honors for us. So I remember distinctly, we were sitting together here, just like the, the guest of honor, and I was sitting next to him. He suddenly turns to me, shows me the, the name of the council and says, you know why I agreed to come? I saw two things. One was that it is fair business practice that impressed me because that is something that is not happening today. And then of course something he said, which uh, somewhat of a feather in my cap, he said, I saw your name and I decided to come. <laughs> Friends, I'm, I'm not emphasizing the second part, I'm emphasizing the first part <coughs> that what impressed President Kalam <coughs> was the fact that it was a council for fair business. Now, fairness and business are supposed to be antithetical historically. It is time that we merge them together and the list of persons that uh, Swepnil has read out to you were titans of industry who believed in merging fairness with business. Business does not mean only making money. It means giving back to society. And you can't give it back to the society unless you have the modicum of integrity and fairness in your dealings with the society. <coughs> Our scriptures give us one simple rule, and I'll finish with that. They say, Atmanaf pratikulani pareshanna sacha samacharet. That whatever is bad for you, don't do it to others. If drinking polluted water is bad for me, I can't sell that uh, bottle of plastic water which is polluted. If eating uh, adulterated food is bad for me, I can't give it to my customers. If running a bad car is bad for me, why should I give it to my customers? This is the rule that our elders taught us, the elders from the scriptures time, the elders from the 1960s, until today, 
we are trying to follow the footsteps of these people and if we have succeeded it is all on account of the the love the affection and the encouragement from all of you thank you very much it is now our duty to honor these persons whom we have selected as the representatives of what is f in the cfpb thank you very much thank you justice prithvi and shri krishna uh, we will start the uh, the proceedings of the announcements for the winners and the certificate of merit but before i do so it will be our pleasure as the cfbp executive committee and other members of uh, the council to hand over some flowers and bouquets to all the dignitaries on the dais uh, madhuri and mamta can we please do the honors here uh pail will you please uh, lead this our chief guest of honor <laughs> dr hemant thakkar a jury cha jury che person Justice B N Sri Krishna. Can we have Rajiv Lakshmi to do the honors? All the pretty women in the room. <laughs> Intelligent. Yes. 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 Asha, could you do the honors uh, by handing over a bouquet of flowers to Mr. Shekhar Bajaj? Lena, can I invite you to hand over a bouquet of flowers to our? <laughs> to our dashing president, Swapnil Kothari. Dolly can I invite you to hand over a bouquet of flowers to Dr Vicky Mehta <laughs> Not the article that came today right Mickey <laughs> Nikitsha she is also on a part of our executive committee can we invite Nikitsha to get hand it over to Mr Niranjan and uh, you give it yes and Mr Tanvi Tanvi to uh, Mr Ashok Bansali Tanvi yes fifth row you should have been on the second row <laughs> Tanvi to Mr Ashok Bansali Thank you. Who? Oh, oh. <laughs> okay, okay. No, no, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't. I don't think so. No, no, no. I don't think so. He's unhappy. I don't think so. Thank you, uh, all the lovely ladies and uh, Swapnil, and uh, welcome once again, uh, everyone on the dais. Can you please come up, Mrs. Tucker, on stage? We'll give you the flowers as well. And uh, can I invite uh, Pragya? Please come to give the flowers to Mrs. Tucker. Pragya is coming.
All right, we'll start now the, the main agenda of the evening, which is uh, recognizing and congratulating our various winners and certificate of merit uh, recipients. This year we received uh, applications and you will uh, see the names that are getting announced. Uh, almost all of them are at the top of their game. And we are so delighted as a part of the awards panel of CFBP to have received uh, these applications. Uh, the other thing that we notice, and this is over the last couple of years, that the same companies apply again and again to CFBP. So that is something very unique about our uh, uh, awards. I think the entire ethos of the awards resonate with uh, some of these corporations that they apply year after year. Of course, there is a rule, internal rule, that you need to have two awards uh, separated by three years. Uh, but regardless of that, it is very encouraging for the CFBP uh, executive committee and the award panel to see the applicants coming again. And I will announce as we go along as to who applied for the second or the third time. We will start with the first category, which is the manufacturing enterprises large. And it is our complete privilege and honor to have names like the names of Nestle India Limited to be the trophy winner this year. And Nestle <laughs> is a household name. We have Mr. T. V. Venkateswaran. He is the director for legal, uh, who is accompanied by uh, Mr. Pramod Kumar Rai, the company secretary and compliance officer. As much as we would like to always have the top management of these corporations come and receive the awards, which will only enthuse us more. But we are delighted that we have uh, the representations uh, from uh, Nestle India Limited. So may I invite you to come and receive your award. Uh, and Dr. Thakkar, <laughs> President Kothari, Mr. Shekhar Bajaj, Justice B. Sri Krishna, please come forward to acknowledge the great work that this company, 100 years and no less, has been doing year after year. And in fact, Suresh Narayan, the MD is on his flight to Delhi, from Delhi to Mumbai to come here. Really? Oh, that will be wonderful, right. That will be wonderful. Uh, the moment we saw the application from Nestle India, we almost all jumped. I said, wow. And it is, it is great to see that a company which is so dedicated to customer centricity and the quality of products uh, has been doing uh, its role as a responsible corporate citizen in India. And Nestle is one of those companies which Yeah. So the next one is also a trophy winner under the same category, which is uh, Manufacturing Enterprises Large. And another well-known brand and name, it has powered our vehicles and cars for multiple years. It is Exide Industries, which has been India's most reliable brand for more than seven decades. It enjoys an unrivaled reputation and recall amongst the minds of both the uh, private individuals and companies. Uh, it has a leadership position in India, but also exports its products to 60 countries across. Uh, we have Ms. Chavi Agarwal, who's the head of investor relations and ESG receiving the award on behalf of Exide Industries. Many congratulations, Ms. Agarwal. And please take our best wishes back to your top management. <laughs> In addition to the photography, Dr. Thakkar, we may have to start recording the <laughs> audio as well today. <laughs> yes. <laughs> The 
The next name, another, you know, tremendous uh, organization which has built India in so many ways. They are applying for the second time. They were the trophy winner in 2018 and 19. It is Bharat Heavy Electricals Limited, which has really powered the nation for the last so many years. Uh, they are the recipient of the Certificate of Merit Award this year. Uh, and Ms. Julie Srivastava, the general manager, is receiving the award on behalf of BHEL. One of the things that we have been very excited about in their application was their new initiative called Harit BHEL to transform itself into a green company. And they have set an ambitious target to be a net zero company by 2047, which is when India will turn 100. In, it, in its independence. Congratulations again, uh, Ms. Srivastava. The, the next uh, Certificate of Merit Award for the category Manufacturing Enterprises Large is Inox Air Products. Mr. Anil Dhagle, who's the head of HR, will receive the uh, certificate, certificate of Merit from our guest of honor, Dr. Thakkar, and the gentleman on the dais. Uh, it is a leading manufacturer of industrial and medical gases. And some of the work that has been going on in INOX uh, is uh, quite unique in terms of the portfolio that they have. The company was set up in 1963 by the JN family, and they they are driven by virtues such as customer centricity, transparency, and delivering value through quality. During COVID-19, and this is something that the panel noticed with great joy, uh, they, were, they were one of the first ones to supply 130 medical oxygen storage tanks at an unimaginable speed. So congratulations, Inox, for, uh, for managing that crisis in our lives better. The indi uh, indicators of how rigorous the process is and what sort of fairness standards that we apply. Inox Air Products Limited, the management, the top management of this company sits on our advisory board through Nayantara Jain. But despite her sitting, she, Inox Air Products gets a certificate and not a trophy because there were people who deserved the trophy more in terms of parameters that we applied. So this is just to goes to show that what sort of value we attach to the company independent of who applies for it. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Shekhar. Oh, sorry, sorry. Thank you, uh, Swapnil. Uh, we go to the next category, which is the manufacturing enterprises, uh, SME, uh, small and medium enterprises. And the trophy winner this year is Ultramarine and Pigments uh, Limited. Uh, of you would know that it is a public limited company and Mr. S. Rajasekharan, who is the DGM Technical Services, is receiving the award uh, today. Uh, Ultramarine, Ultramarine is serving clients in more than 40 countries and one of the things that we have uh, uh, liked about that is that in the last six decades of their expertise, uh, they have mastered the art and science of manufacturing inorganic pigments and surfactants. Uh, they continue to service their customers as well as discharge their role as a responsible corporate uh, uh, citizen of this country. The certificate of, certificate of Merit uh, in the category of Manufacturing Enterprises SME goes to Rotex Automation, which is the India's largest manufacturer of solenoid valves and angle seat valves. Uh, Mr. Abhijit Kelekar, who is the head of domestic sales, is receiving the award uh, from our uh, guest of honor. They have been in the business since 1983, and you will not believe the product array they have 90 lakh products they have 19 patents and they have 11 global certifications so congratulations uh, and take back our, take back our best wishes uh, 
Service Enterprises Large is the next category and the company receiving the trophy is Team Global Logistics Private Limited. We have Mr. Rajesh Bhanushali, who's the director of the company receiving the award. Uh, this company was set up in, nine, uh, in 2005 and it is a leading integrated logistics service provider based out of Bombay. Uh, with a focus on the LCL consolidation, uh, they actually uh, are very uh, successful in air freight, project cargo, transportation and cargo handling. They have uh, demonstrated their commitment towards ESG and CSR initiatives and they have a dedicated trust called Saksham Sarthi, which is striving to make a positive impact on individuals and communi communities. Congratulations, uh, Mr. Banushali. The Certificate of Merit for Service Enterprises Large is to another household name, which is Leelawati Hospital and Research Center. All of us know that it is a multi-speciality tertiary care hospital of India. And Mr. Kundan Shah, who's the CEO of the hospital. Oh, okay, Neeraj Jitarmani is the CEO. Okay. So congratulations to the entire team that has come here this evening from Leelawati Hospital. Uh, and I must add one thing, uh, we need, uh, this is the third hospital in a row, you will remember. Yes. The first one was Hiranandani, then Breach Candy last year. Yes. And now Lilavati. So we've got the top hospitals applying. And one of the reasons we give them the awards is so that we get beds very easily should we fall ill. <laughs> but more important than the fact that they continue to do uh, tremendous work as a speciality. Uh, Leelawati has a social department called Seva, and that is the department which provides uh, uh, free of charge service to, uh, you know, to patients uh, irrespective of their uh, caste religion, and they carry out some of the most complex, some of the most complex surgeries free of charge. Uh, service Enterprises SME. And uh, uh, we have two trophy winners. Uh, the first one is uh, Prabhudhas Leeladhar Private Limited. And the trophy will be received by Ms. Amisha Vora, who's the chairperson and uh, MD of Prabhudhas Leeladhar. She has been a part of this particular business uh, for many years. And she is now the majority owner of the business. Uh, the company was recognized as one of the best brands in 2023 by ET Now, and one of the best BFSI brands in India in 2022 by Economic Times. Congratulations, Amisha, for uh, the stupendous work that you do and your organization does. The next uh, trophy winner in this category of service enterprises SME is Quality Kiosk. And uh, they are receiving the trophy for the second time. They for, uh, they earlier they received it in 2020. And Ms. Pratiksha Jhavar, who's the director uh, of Quality Kiosk Technology, and Mr. Amit Parik, the CFO, uh, are receiving the award on behalf of the company. Uh, one of the one of the you one of the most uh, satisfying uh, aspect of this particular company is an initiative that they started called Matri Chaya, and Matri Chaya is an initiative which is aimed at providing necessary ne nutrition to underprivileged women during their pregnancy and a month after the childbirth. They have been working with 50 volunteers in this particular initiative 
and they have supported more than 14,000 expecting mothers, including 200 and ICU cases. And we are delighted that Ms. Pratiksha, who's the founder of Matri Chaya, is uh, receiving the award on behalf of Quality Kiosk. Congratulations. We are moving towards the last two categories. The, uh, the next one is the trade and distribution uh, category, which is uh, large and SME. For the trade and distribution large category, the trophy winner this year is P.N. Gardgill and Sons, and Mr. Ajit Gardgill, who's the promoter and chairman, and Mr. Amit Modak, the director and CEO, are receiving the award on behalf of P.N. Gardgill. Many of us know P.N. Gardgill as one of the most trusted jewelry brands in Maharashtra. They have been enlisted in the Fortune 500 India list as top 500 companies in December 2021. They are recognized as one of the best governance uh, compliances oriented company. They have done tremendous amount of work with uh, Prince of Wales Museum, Shatrapati Shivaji Maharaj, Vastu Sangralai. Well done, congratulations. P.N. Gadgil and Son believes that making jewelry is an art first and business later. And in that particular, with that particular vision, they are committed to renewing Kinnal art, which is a practice in Kinnal village in Karnataka. And it conducts community projects to provide food, blood donation, education, health, medical checkups, etc. So congratulations to Mr. Gardgill and his team. And we welcome Lilabati Hospitals and PN Gardgill and Sons to our very, very elite patron membership. Congratulations on her entry. <laughs> Baby, tomorrow the website will be updated to include your name, name of Lilavati and PN Gardgill. We extend, as I said, very few invitations. So thank you very much. You all had a stellar resume. The Certificate of Merit in Trade and Distribution SME category goes to Laduram Toshniwal and Sons. And Mr. Suri Prakash Toshniwal himself is here to receive the award. Uh, some, of, some of you would know that they are known as the number one business organization for trade and bus distribution of SME of lighting trade since 1967 and they have been one of the most active ones for brands like Bajaj, Crompton, Rashmi, Hafel, uh, Usha, etc. Philips, Philips of course, yes. And they have been associated with various CSR activities like schools, colleges, hospitals, dharamshalas and mandir. Congratulations Mr. Th Toshniwal. The last uh, category is charitable association and this year the certificate of merit goes to uh, Concern India Foundation. Ms. Kavita Shah, who is the CEO of Concern India, is here with us to receive the award. Concern was founded by Mr. Ardeshir Dubash because he noticed a crucial gap in fundraising and networking and raising awareness about the impactful work of some NGOs. Concern has really catalyzed positive transformation in the lives of numerous vulnerable groups. Their focus spans education, health, and community development. And they have been working in areas such as child education, livelihood support, watershed management, and NGO capacity building. Kavita, congratulations to uh, uh, a lot of good work. Behind all the glamour is the hard work that your team carries out. So. Kudos to you. All of us can now take our seats and I will invite all our winners, trophy winners and the certificate of, uh, certificate of merit recipients to come to the stage one by one. We will be most happy to hear from you your first reaction to the Jamnalal Bajaj Awards. And in the interest of time and the delicious food which is waiting for all of us on the terrace, 
please keep your response to two to three minutes. We will start from the first category and the first recipient. May I have you decide. Mr. T.S. Venkateswaran, the director legal, to give his response from Nestle India. Bank. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, esteemed dignitaries on the dais and August gathering here. On behalf of Mr. Suresh Narayanan, our chairman and managing director, and on behalf of Nestle India Limited, a big thank you to the council for uh, fair business practices for awarding us Uchit Vihavar Puraskar, uh, which is the 36th one, and this is the first time we have applied for it, and we are fortunate to get it, considering the process involved in uh, giving the award. Indeed, it is a validation of our ethical standards and also upholding the integrity, highest level of integrity in all our business dealings. With this, uh, we will continue to be committed to make a difference in the lives of people and the planet. Once again, thank you so much for the, for the award and uh, I must congratulate all the awardees here and a very good evening to everybody. Thank you so much. Then, 2029, you will be eligible again. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, Ms. Chavi Agarwal, who's the head of investor relations and ESG from Exide Industries, may we have you to give your uh, reaction and response. Good evening everyone and uh, thanks to the council, thank you very much for recognizing Excite Industries to be one of the awardees. I think this award is a little special because it is, it shows the ethical behavior that the company has been demonstrating for more than 75 years. It is something that is not based on what we are doing today but something that we imbibe as a company. The, something that uh, that runs in the culture of our company throughout and these are the principles that we live by and we work by. Uh, we are a very, very ethical and a highly committed company whether to sustainability or to CSR initiative and we will continue to do so and thank you so much once again for recognizing our efforts. Thank you Chavi and well said. Uh, this award, as you may have understood and gathered, is in, indeed very unique, right? Because we are really trying to see through the DNA of the company, right? It has to be in the fabric of the way you do your business. And it is not only about your product. It is not only sometimes only about your customers. It is even about how you treat your employees. It is also about how much you are adhering to compliance and the entire legal framework of this particular country. So it is, it is special and most of us who are sitting on the table here uh, are excited and committed to that being the main reason uh, you know, to be associated with this council. The next one, Ms. Julie Srivastava, the Certificate of Merit Award winner from BHEN. I'm a bit troubled by the fact that some of our winners are really sitting very much behind today. And I apologize if uh, you know there was not enough seats in the first and the second row. So apologies, please come. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and our dignitaries on the stage, on the dais. First of all, I would like to thank the jury for giving us this honor and that too the second time. And I would like to thank from our BHL fraternity of around 30,000 employees. And uh, as you must all be aware, we are a very large engineering and manufacturing giant. And have, we have been established since 1964 and we are making in India throughout. We are in various fields of 
energy, industry, and infrastructure. And uh, we are, uh, our share in the power sector is around 53% in the, towards the contribution to our country. We are striving and our, all our employees are committed and we have a lot of transparency, we have governance, and we have always been working throughout for the CSR cause into the welfare of our society. And as Sir had mentioned, our new initiative is Harit BHEL, where we want to transform our, con our company to a green company. And our, we have an ambitious aim of net zero company by 2047. I would once again like to thank everybody here and uh, to especially to the jury for on giving us this honor because it's a great privilege and that too second time we have won so thank you very much thank you thank you mr vastav uh, may i invite uh, mr anil dhale uh, who's the head of hr at inox air products to give his uh, response On behalf of Inox Air Products Private Limited, particularly our chairman, Shri Pawan Kumar Jain, and our managing director, Siddharth Jain, uh, I thank the, all the members of jury and dignitaries on dais to give us this honor, the certificate of merit in large manufacturing category. We are very thankful to you, sir, and our journey to upgrade standard of fairness, our endeavor to have in place right system, fair system, fair practices continuous over the last seven decades. Whole world knows how we had to struggle during COVID pandemic to meet the highest standard of fairness across India. So uh, our efforts continues to build better and better practices and better systems with the mission of uh, our chairman, Sri Pawan Kumar Jain. Thank you all. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Dhale. Uh, Mr. S. Rajasekharan, the DGM technical from Ultramarine and Pigments Limited, please, uh, may we have your comments. Good evening, uh, dignitaries and other uh, my colleagues. So this is really a great award and we feel proud because the process is very, very critical and uh, we know what extent we need to show our compliance. So on behalf of our chairman, Mr. R. Sampat, and our managing director, Ms. Tara Parthasaradi, we extend our sincere thanks to entire jury for selecting our company and also my congratulations to each and everyone who won the award. Uh, we feel really proud and excited and this award will accelerate our process further, not only to ensure the compliance and to exceed the compliance. And we will uh, ensure that all our practices meet all the level of compliance and we will try to exceed all these things in the days to come. Thanks one and all for your active participation today and thanks to jury for selecting us. Really, uh, thank you one and all on behalf of our board as well as our chairman and managing director. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Raj Shekharan. Uh, the certificate of merit went to Rotex Automation and we have Mr. Abhijit Kelekar. Uh, if we can have you. Uh, as sir explained that we have about 90,000 range of products into our product category. We also have 90,000 customers with us. A uh, few of them are BHEL and Inox are sitting here along with uh, you all. So uh, it is very, very, you know, uh, kind of a diversified customers and people that we meet when, when as an, I'm, I'm heading the sales, so I am most of the time talking to our customers and uh, on behalf of uh, our managing director, uh, it's a privately owned family business. I thank you, Jury, for considering us for this award. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, 
Service Enterprises Large Category uh, Trophy Winner Team Global Logistics Private Limited. May I invite Mr. Rajesh Bhanushali, who's the director, uh, to give his response. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, uh, dignitaries on the dais. Uh, firstly, uh, thank you very much uh, for giving us an opportunity to apply for this award. Uh, ideally, uh, the uh, philosophy, the DNA of the company has been to really be fair uh, considering the service industry. We are into international business and also into domestic. So I think so. Uh, uh, a lot of credit goes to the HR, the way they drive the whole culture in the company because it it's not easy when it's a large organization. But I think so, uh, it's a daily life and we practice it uh, and we'll continue to practice. Uh, thank you everyone and thank you Juri once again. Thank you, thank you Rajesh. May we have Mr. Kundan Shah, he's the CEO of, uh, oh, Docton, right? Can we have you, it's, a, it's an honor to have you this evening. So please, uh, your response to the Jamnalal Bajaj. <coughs> Good evening, everyone. First and foremost, I am Dr. Neera Juttumani. Mr. Kundan is our senior management uh, director. Thanks. <laughs> no, no, that's absolutely fine. Uh, thanks to the jury and the dignitaries present here for considering the hospital. Lilavati Hospital, by its name, is known for three pillars. We believe on only three focus considering patient as our ultimate goal, patient satisfaction. And just to inform you, our patient satisfaction index of last month was 95.2%. At the, the three pillars, what we really concentrate on is technology, then fair business processes. We believe in end-to-end -end process fairness starting from the patient coming to casualty or OPD, in helping him select the doctor, talking to the admission clerk, billing clerk, everything is so transparent. I'll give you an example. My admission process takes 20 minutes, of which actual work is just three minutes. 17 minutes is explanation. And for a consent, for a consent of operation, my doctors take 20 minutes. Again, 20 minutes, the process taking signature is 10 seconds job. But to ensure transparency, to ensure fair processes, he, the doctor will explain each thing, like the, the benefits, the side effects, the alternatives, whether to go for or not to go for. This is the level of transparency, and we are thankful to the jury that they appreciated our efforts. It would be a huge motivation to my team. I'm thankful to INOX also, like we, we have dealt with them in COVID. We managed to treat close to 6,500 patients. And it was the time when INOX actually has come for a great help to us. Thank you. Uh, service Enterprises SME, uh, Ms. Amisha Bora, who's the chairperson and MD of Prabhudas Leeladhar. Uh, could we invite you to give your response? Good evening. First and foremost, absolute Namaste for the practice for which you all have taken out time for us in the corporate world. And to all those who really started and pioneered this particular work, I really respect in my brought up and in my childhood with my parents, I used to attend Jain Upashrays. And our gurus used to say that religion is not to practice when you sit alone. It is to practice when you are actually in the world, treating people, meeting people. These are not two silos. 
of preaching and religious and being in the world. Similarly, doing business is not in silos. It's actually extending partnership all the while that you are doing business. So the principles of trust, transparency and integrity are absolute integral part of business and this is a reminder call that it has value. We as Prabhuda Sladar group believe that there is no shortcut and shortcut is the longest cut. We this year are celebrating 80th year of our existence in the financial markets and touch wood, we are regulated by from RBI to SEBI, BSE, NSE, IRDA and none of the compliances or regulator had ever to really raise a finger on us on this 80 years of journey. And the only thing that we really take pride and I always keep telling my team is that we have the fiduciary responsibility. People are entrusting their hard earned money to us for it to grow in equity market. So it is most important not to tell them or lure them but to mentally prepare them that being in the financial market or equity markets there can be ups and downs but it is the mental discipline which will lead you to convert your savings into wealth. And I'm so honored that this small journey of converting people's savings into wealth that the purpose with which we are living is celebrated today by all these dignitaries. Thank you so much everyone for encouraging us. Thank you, thank you, thank you Amisha. Very well said. Uh, Miss Pratiksha Jhavar, who's the director, uh, can we have you from Quality Kiosk Technologies to give your response? Thank you so much. Uh, really, uh, that time I was feeling that this award or trophy will milega. So, I was thinking that quality kiosk has given me a task for CSR to do a task for the Matri Chaya. Then I find the, in the hospitals that women are sitting, but they don't have water, they don't have anything. Then I decided that I was making these children's mother. मैं उन बच्चों का केयर करूंगी और 9 महीने तक उनकी मदर बन के काम करूंगी देन आई सेलेक्टेड फोर हॉस्पिटल्स एंड देन क्वालिटी कियोस्क ने मुझे उसमें बहुत बड़ा हेल्प किया कि वो मुझे फंड के लिए जो सीएसआर का हेल्प रहता है वो किया तो मैं उसके लिए बहुत-बहुत धन्यवाद देती हूं कि आप सब ने मेरे लिए रिकॉग्नाइज किया और वो सब विमेन को मैं एक हेल्दी बेबी बॉन्ड करने के लिए मैं हेल्प कर पाई या Thank you so much for recognizing this. Yeah. Mr. Ajit Gadgil, who is the promoter and chairman of uh, PN Gadgil and Sons, can we have you to... Mr. Amit Modak. CEO of PN Gatkill and Sons. <coughs> Thanks to everyone who are the juries and all the persons present on the dais. We applied this for first time. Mail got from the CFBP. From there we come to know that such awards are there. Kothariji asked me on the day of the interaction, personal interview, why you applied, why you have taken out the time to come here and plead for? I said, there are very few awards in India which are not sold and which are generally given based on the work. 
and that's why I have taken out the time. And since it is received from some Bajaj group, I cannot uh, keep that mail unreplied or keep the documents unfilled. He asked me, you have done so many things, why you have not written? I said, there was a restriction from your side of 200 words. So <laughs> it is a proud for us as a jeweler because to jeweler, if somebody is saying fair business practices, or kya chahiye? Because uh, it's always uh, in the society, people look to the jeweler with the doubts. So I was very much doubtful whether this award will be in my favor or not because I am uh, uh, representing the jewelry company. But really thankful that somebody has recognized we have got 190 years legacy. He said, there are the rate gimmicks and all these things. I said, you can come to my organization, take a calculator and calculate on the board what rates are written from 22 carat, uh, 24 carat to 14 carat. It is a calculation divided by 24 multiplied by 14. If it is matching, then say I am doing a fair practice. So we are there with the fair practice and uh, CFBP and Bajaj uh, have uh, honored us with the this trophy it's a very great achievement for us I will also ask when I can apply again because the, as I said it's not saleable <laughs> after three years okay thank you okay thank you thank you thank you uh, may we have uh, mr. Suri Prakash Toshtival who is from Laduram Toshtival and Sons to give his response. The category was trade and distribution SME. Thanks to jury for selecting us in fair business practices. We are in lighting trade. Name, we are, uh, our firm name is Laduram Tostimal and Sons. We are doing highest sale in the country for Philips lighting products. And we are dealer of almost all leading company in India like Bajaj, Crompton, HPL, Panasonic, all these companies. And other than business, we are, since last 20 years, we are doing some CSR activities also. Every year we are making one school, free education and free lunch especially in Rajasthan, one school we made in Murshidabad. We made one hospital, 43 bedded, free doctor services and free medicine. This type of uh, CSR activities also we are doing since last 20 years and we are in lighting trade. Thanks to everyone. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Toshniwal. Uh, Ms. Kavita Shah, CEO of Concern India Foundation, we invite you to give your uh, response. I'm proud and humbled that we were chosen for this Council for Fair Business Practices Award. Really, last but not the least. And <laughs> development in this country would not happen if there were no NGOs. You know, there's a partnership between uh, government and NGOs and only then we can spur ourselves forward to do education, health and community development. Our chairman, um, founder, Mr. ABK Dubash, has always given us this one seek. Whatever you do, do wholeheartedly. Do with a good heart. Don't try to be the best. But you must have a good night's sleep because you know that whatever you have done, you have done with honesty and integrity. And that is what your motto is, that is what our motto is. This award is only going to spur us to do work more in the areas of education, health, community development, water regeneration, 
mangrove restoration, climate change, and many more. And I'm sure all the companies that are here today are listening to what I'm saying and are going to come forward with their CSR funds. Thank you. Thank you to all of you. Thank you very much. Uh, we need just one second. Uh, I just want to inform the people uh, about the rules that we have. If you've won a, cert if you've won a trophy, in 2024 right now, if it's a 2023 award basically, so you'll have to apply after three years uh, for a trophy. Uh, and obviously, you know, you will want to have a trophy, you are not going to apply for a certificate. But uh, obviously, a lot the application would be intending towards that. The other thing is to people who won the certificates this time can apply for the trophies for the next year. So they can continue to apply, there is no bar on that. And one of the requirements that I would like to mention to you people is, that we look very carefully at the person who comes to talk about his or her company. That's very important to us. If the top management comes to us, that is something which we then attribute. In fact, you will not believe that when we had VIP bags apply to us a couple of years back, it was Mr. Dilip Piramal himself who came. I mean, he could have sent anybody, but it's a 3,000, 6,000 crore empire, and he came himself. Jindal's also sent their CEO. Uh, even. Uh, the Hiranandani hospitals had sent their CEO and that too, in fact, if the MD was going to come. Bridge yeah, even Bridge Candy, absolutely. So as Mr. Bajaj is saying, even Bridge Candy. So we attach a lot of importance as to who comes. Two, whether all the parameters of employee satisfaction, CSR, ESG, gender equality, these are the four to five parameters that we have, are clearly demonstrated in your application. You can even hand us something later on, not necessarily in the application, but even when you come to present your case. So that is something which we will give a lot of importance to rather than your PPTs and all of those kind of things. So these two, three things are very essential if you want to really apply for, if you would really want to vie for the trophy. In fact, I do not wish to name the company. When Amul had won the trophy, there were equally two or three giants who were disappointed that they did not get the trophy, but then Amul was Amul. So what we are saying is that we, it's very strict parameters are followed. People apply year after year. People have once company has applied for 11 years in a row and then won the trophy. So it gets extremely competitive. It's not that we are being sadistic. It's just that it's extremely competitive and we give only two trophies. We, don't, we can't shell out three trophies because then they, it defeats the purpose. So that is something which I would like you all to bear in mind. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, we now move on to, uh, to a very pleasant task of introducing our chief guest this evening, uh, Dr. Heman Thakkar. And the introduction will be given by Mr. Shekhar Bajaj. Uh, before I have the great pleasure to introduce Dr. Thakkar, I would like just, uh, because many of you may not be aware, but CABP, which was created in 1966, that time it was because the image of business was that all businessmen are chore. There was black market, there was a shortage economy, there was a waiting period for a scooter for 10 years. At that time, it was necessary to have, to change the image of business. That was the whole logic of that CABP creation. And the important aspect was that the CABP is the only organization in the country, even today after 57 years, which is run by business people and professional for the benefit of the consumer. We have Consumer Guidance Society, we have Apna Bazaar, all of them are for the consumer. But there's no business uh, uh, association or organization which is doing for the consumer. So I thought this is something which you, I would like to share with you. Now coming to the most important aspect is when I looked at his biodata of Dr. Heman Thakkar, I don't know where to start and where to end because it is something where actually, if I do this, then there will be no time for him to speak. So I want to start by only, I never knew that there's so many, uh, because I'm not a medical person, so I'll just read out his small initiation. He's MD, MRSC, MR, FACP, FACE, FISH, FRCP, I think the alphabet is not complete. <laughs> the alphabet is still not complete. Huh? Please remember that. <laughs> Dr. Heman Thakkar is the MD in internal medicine from Bombay, 
director and head of department medicine of Bhatia Hospital and additional director of medicine at Jaslok Hospital. He is senior consultant at Beach Candy and Reliance HN Hospital. He is a specialist in cardio metabolic disorders and a fellow of the American College of Physician and Clinic Endocrinology. I think in addition to him, I think we must congratulate Mrs. Thakkar for having so much patience and so much support. I think she deserves a uh, round of applause. Agreed? Yes, he also agrees. <laughs> Besides being a recognized teacher for postgraduate medicine, he has been a principal investigator for numerous international and national clinical tests, trials and runs in his own research site, which is audited and approved. His innov innovative and pioneer work in the recent pandemic has earned him immense laurel academically and socially. I think all of us must be seeing him every second day during the COVID time, that he would give us some positive stroke that everything is fine, nothing to worry about, which was very important. At that time, all of us were so down. So a positive stroke is very important, like which you had mentioned about the ladies who are pregnant they would feel that they are not being looked after and the children will be impacted and therefore you gave, made sure that food is available or was uh, mentioned uh, that how, uh, what's the name? What's the no, Mata Chai I've understood. Okay. In 2014, he was awarded the Giants International Award for Outstanding Contribution to the Field of Medicine. Now coming to his academic honors, I'll only tell one, th I mean there are 20 of them, but I'll stop at one to show you when it started. In 1974, when most of you may not have been born also, the principal's prize for the best student of the year at JN College. And then in 2020, awarded the best COVID warrior title by the Wokhad Medical Foundation. <laughs> I think extracurricular activities are so many. I don't know. I know. You don't want it. I also am not going to do it. Don't <laughs> worry. So I think uh, we are all looking forward to hearing Dr. Thakkar. Thank you so much. Justice Sri Krishna, Mr. Bajaj, other dignitaries, all the prize winners this evening, and this lovely audience. In this era of modern competition and result-oriented tasking, the word fair practice, or in today's theme, fair business practice, is something which is absolutely essential and mandatory for us to realize. The thirst for success, often overtaken by the single-minded thrust for success, and the yearn for success, which can camouflage the trust for success, is something which we see ever and ever again. From the time of Adam and Eve, when the forbidden apple and its temptation broke the great resolve to the cricket field where ball tampering by the best amongst us saw the doomsday of many careers. The need and the imperative need for introducing discipline and fairness in industry, in practice, is something which no company, no country, and no one can afford to neglect. One has to remember that fair business practice is something which is inculcated, something which is disciplined. And if one does not imbibe these 
great models into the mind, there is always a hiccup. Remember, as companies started growing, we realized things started going out of hand, as our president told us today. So the introduction of CFBP is probably the right punctuation. Not only that, it is the absolute directional barometer that propagates, in my language, COVID-appropriate behavior, in your language, ethical appropriate business practice. A society which was formed by the futuristic vision of people like Mr. Tata, Mr. Godrej, Mr. Bajaj, Mr. Birla, etc., has set the highest ethical standards for Indian business entrepreneurs who are endeavoring to reach success while abiding by fair business practices. And CFBP is at the center stage of ethical business traffic. Quick to police and point out, but also quick like today, to reward the deserving amongst you who have achieved their goals while observing discipline, fairness, and ethical means in society. An organization which was probably formed uh, more than half a century ago is now being deftly steered by a council of advisors and energetically led by Mr. Swapnil Kothari, who has probably given his blood, toil, sweat, and tears to maintain this impeccable reputation of this illustrious society. Now, it gives me great pleasure to be the chief guest and give away the 36th Jamnalal Bajaj Awards to those amongst you who have been recognized, as the Brits would say, who played the game well, who played the game morally and won their accolades so that, as the phrase say, they would be the owner's pride and the neighbor's envy. And we have seen that amongst all the winners. Having said that, one must realize that an organization like this is for business. But I liked what Mr. Kotari said, that whether it is business or profession. Mr. Kotari is a lawyer, I am a doctor. And I want to echo Kennedy's words that ask not what your business or profession can do for you, but ask what you can do for your business or profession. And biblically, do unto others what you would like others to do unto thyself. If you can't drink that water, don't sell that. If you can't eat that tablet, don't sell that. I'm thankful the, for the, to the organizers for inviting me and giving me this great honor. I'm sure with institutions like CFBP, the sun will never set on the morality and ethics of our society. And all I can say is Jai Hind. Thank you, Dr. Thakkar. Uh, what a wonderful uh, address to our audience. Uh, almost every line was uh, meaningful and carried uh, your emotion. Uh, thank you so much and let the sun not set on the moral standards that we are trying to all uphold here. And I, I thought that I was a good orator. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, before we go to the vote of thanks, I want to invite my colleague, Dr. Miki Mehta, because he did the pleasant duty of actually uh, getting us our chief guest this evening. No, so before. Before. Sorry. Come. Come, Doc. Come, Miki. Say, some, uh, say something about what you feel about CFBP. You have been associated with us for a few years now. And after that, we'll do the formal vote of thanks. The past two chief guests have been brought by Dr. Miki Mehta, uh, Dr. Zareen Daruwala, and Mr. Keki Misri. Uh, so we are very thankful to him. This <coughs> time it was my turn, and I did the honors of getting uh, 
you know, Dr. Thakkar, I'm extremely privileged to have you, Dr. Thakkar, and to hear you today. If my memory doesn't fail me, Dr. Thakkar, the first time we met was at Antilla. Yes, I was uh, in the swimming pool and you were there walking with Mukesh Bhai and Neeta Bhabi, I think so. <laughs> Antiloping at Antilla. Okay, great. Uh, everybody likes fair skin that we understand and know, although it is not so important in life. Yet, being fair with people, being fair in your behavior, fair in your conduct, let alone not just business, but as a human being, just be fair to each and every one. One thing comes to my mind that there have been times when my mother being an eccentric Parsi lady at 90, when she left, right and center, completely annihilates my help, house helps ego and fires her. And at times I have to tell, mommy, you are wrong. Could you please kindly apologize? And uh, she, after having realized that what my son is saying is right, and I shouldn't have done that, literally apologizes. Now, beginning to be fair at home, right from your driver to your house help, to the security people who, when you realize, have done 16 hours of shift, and you somebody catches them sleeping or taking a nap, you reach out to their defense and say, please spare them. It's not fair to reprimand them at this juncture, especially when they're overworked. So try and be empathetic, compassionate, and if you're empathetic and compassionate, fairness will be ingrained in your DNA, and nobody will have to remind you to be fair. So compassion, care, and empathy comes first. Fairness will come naturally. Thank you so much. Lovely thought, Nikki. Uh, may I invite one of our veterans of CFBP, Ashaid Dani, who has been steering the, uh, you know, the consumer grievances cell for many, many years at CFBP to give a vote of thanks. All of them are tall. I just need to bring this down. <coughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen and dignitaries on the dais. On behalf of CFPP, we extend our heartfelt gratitude to our esteemed chief guest, Dr. Hemant Thakkar, for sparing his valuable time to grace this occasion. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. We would also like to express our appreciation to the dedicated jury members, especially jury chairman, Justice B. N. Sri Krishna and Vinit Bhatnagar, who reviewed the entries for the Jamnalal Bajaj Awards meticulously. Our congratulations go out to the ultimate winners whose exceptional contribution deserved to be appreciated. At CFPP, we strive to serve as a bridge between consumers and manufacturers fostering trust, transparency, and ethical business practices. Our president, Mr. Swapnil Kothari, is committed to creating an environment where business confidence is strengthened through the promotion of best practices and the cultivation of mutual respect between business professionals and consumers. Our efforts are guided by the principles of upholding ethical standards, ensuring transparency, and pri prioritizing consumer interests. As Mr. Swapnil Kothari continues to uphold the code of conduct and advocate for the highest standards of business ethics, we are grateful for the unwavering support of all those who share our vision of fairness and integrity in business. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Lovely evening to us. May I request you all now to come and join us for dinner and have a nice time and interact.
or the terrace, yes, and interact one-to-one, -one, all of us. Thank you. Uh, before, before we get up, no, we will. I wanted to uh, also thank our sponsors uh, who help and whose financial support always help us in doing a decent job of uh, the award ceremony. This year we had Godrej Consumer Products as the platinum sponsor, uh, gold sponsor Philip Capital and silver sponsor Bajaj Electricals. May I request each one of you to stand up for the national anthem and then we proceed for dinner. Dhwani. Janagana Manadhinayaka Jayahe Bharat Bhagya Vidhata Punjab Sindh Gujarat Maratha Dravid Utkala Banga Vindhya Himachala Yamuna Ganga Utchala Jaladhita Ranga Tava Shubhana Me Jage तव शुभ आशीष मागे गाहे तव जय गाथा जन गण मंगल दायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता जय हे जय हे जय हे जय 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 हे The dinner is served on the group terrace. A group photograph for the winners yeah, with the. The other guests, uh, you know, could very well proceed to the terrace. The dinner has been served already. Uh, Dolly, uh, I will request all the CFP people to, uh, people to sit here for a group photograph later on. But first, all the winners here, please. Are all the winners here behind? Mrs. Tucker? Mrs. Tucker? Mrs. Tucker. Mrs. Tucker. Be with us, please. So, uh, all the winners, are they there? Mr. Gartgill, uh, Mr. Modak. We want everybody uh, who's accompanied the winners also, who are a part of the winner's team, if you want to come over here behind, please do. It's, it's, there's no uh, bar, I mean, uh, people can just come here. The representatives, unless you all want to take a photograph, of course. But all the winners, so we can have a nice group photograph. Uh, uh, and I would request some CFVP people also to take the photograph so that they can post it on the web, uh, post it on the chat group. all the winners to go back to the uh, seats. <laughs>